Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Attack of the Silver Swords with the Drum Kid 92, where last we left off, Batman had joined the server. Um, and he's going to be helping us with all of our Galactic Craft needs. Uh, so we've opened up a little wing over here. I uh, haven't done any of the actual stuff yet. I just kind of got. Um, this is going to be more or less a command console ish type of area. This is going to be like uh, Silver Sword Space Command, Triple SC. Um, <laughs> and uh, there's going to be, I don't know if this will be where it is or not, but there's going to be a um, decontamination chamber that leads into the launch area, um, which will probably be off in that direction most likely. Um, and then it's just going to be like open to the sky, and uh, we're going to have a retractable roof using the... Um, the drawbridges from Tinker's Construct, or Tim Tinker's Mechworks, whatever that's called. Um, but today, uh, I guess I should show you a couple of new things. Um, so power has always been an annoying little bit of a thing down here in the lab, because it's all, it's like so sprawled out and obnoxious. But one of the good things about Attack of the B Team is that for power, we use thermal expansion. Um, and the conduits, energy conduits from thermal expansion, they don't act like normal, um, wires and stuff from, like, Feed the Beast. Because, whereas in Feed the Beast, um, you would lose energy, uh, over certain length. Um, like, let's say you start out with 100 RF or MJ or whatever, and you're, pu you're pumping it along a wire that's, like, 200 blocks... Like, by the time you get to the end of it, the power is going to be out, you know, depending on what grade of wire you use. Well, this is not that way. Um, this c keeps the energy. It just has a maximum rate of energy transmission it can reach. Um, so I'm using the highest level, the redstone energy conduits. Um, you can see I've got a bunch of them in my inventory. Uh, they can transfer up to 1,000 RF or 10,000 RF per tick. Oh, pardon me. Um, which is a lot of power, for those of you who don't know. Um, but we've got these biofuel generators, like, in every wing of the lab. And I want to change that. Um, so what I've done is I set up the highest tier um, energy cell. is the resonant energy cell. It stores 50 million RF. Um, it's capable of outputting at 2,000 RF per tick. Um... So the only thing I could see there being an issue with is if we're powering, like, every wing at the same time, which shouldn't ever happen. Um, but anyways, uh, it's being fueled by the, a bioreactor right now. I think I'm, as we pipe power to the other sectors, we won't need those bioreactors and generators um, anymore. So I think I'll just slot them in next to them. Uh, that way... Uh, we can feed a bunch of power to the cell ASAP, like as quick, or AQAP, as quick as possible. Um, right now we have 24 million out of the 50 million in there. Uh, and currently, the pipe is being extended up, uh, lost my entrance, there we go, up over here and powering these thermal expansion machines. And as we get more machines, we'll slot more in here and it'll be a giant wall of stuff that we can use. Um, but, uh, oh yeah, and then, um, this is Liquid XP Tanks. It took me a long time to fill this many tanks, but I finally did it, uh, and it looks really freaking cool. Anyways, today we're going to be doing a farm, so let me show you guys. We're going to have to pipe, um, these redstone energy conduits all the way over here. Um, and I have the path kind of laid out, and we're just going to set it up for the carrots right now. And basically what it'll do is it'll automatically farm our carrots for us. Um, now, I learned this setup from watching Generic B do his um, Agrarian Skies. And so I've used this same setup for that series. Um, so it should all work. <sighs> Crossing my fingers, at least. Um <laughs> But uh, basically, you have an aqueous accumulator, and even if there's no water around it, it'll still pull water from the atmosphere. 
Um, and it's just enough to feed the open block sprinkler. This doesn't require any power, which is super nice. Um, but it'll work with the open block sprinkler, which acts as a form of bone mealer. And we've got uh, this fertilized dirt, which makes crops grow faster and you can't trample it. Um, which is super nice. Because one of the issues with this farm has been slimes. Slimes will spawn over there because they've got those slime trees. And they'll come on over here and jump on everything and fuck it all up. Um, but with the fertilized dirt, that won't happen. So, I'm going to attempt to make this the ultimate farm. Uh, so we've got a harvester, we've got a planter, uh, aqueous accumulator, sprinkler, and we've got our radius upgraders for the planter and harvester, so it'll cover this 9x9 area. Um, so, grab our harvester, and let's do it, let's have them all doing it this way. No, that's facing the wrong way. This way. Yes, you need that facing the crops. And then we'll have to put in our radius increaser, our upgrade, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then the aqueous accumulator will go here. And the sprinkler will go here. Okay. So it does work even with that block on top of it. Or does it? Yeah, it works. I think. Ooh, I don't know. See, it's shooting higher than it was before. I think it's because that block is no longer there. That could be an issue. So lighting might be a problem. Well, let's... I don't really have any blocks with me. Oh. Oh, okay. So that happens. Um. What? Okay, well, let's go make another sprinkler, I suppose. <laughs> what the hell was that all about? That was weird. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we need a redstone torch. Six iron. Two bars. Oop. There we go. Okay. I don't know what that was all about. Doot, 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 doot. Boom. Sprinkler. And let's actually, let's grab some cobble while we're here so we can... Properly set this up. Okay. Let's head on back over there. Whomp. Okay. So let's get the sprinkler. Boom. Yeah, see, stuff is... Uh, it's because the lighting is just not there. Um, so what if I put it here? I feel like it's high up enough that it's not interfering with the sprinkler. But how's the light level? 9, 10, 9, 9... Okay, I mean, it doesn't get below 9. I think that's good enough. Oops. Just melted that on accident. Um, but another thing you can also do, and I have like a million bones, so this won't be a problem. Um, this, in and of itself, does help water things. It makes it so you don't need a water source, but then you can fill it with bone meal. And it'll slowly go through the bone meal and help stuff grow even faster. Um, so that's why we're using the sprinkler. I think with the fertilized dirt, you don't actually need a water source. But uh, the reason I'm doing this is so I can put bone meal in the sprinkler. Um, and then the harvester's all set. And then we'll need to go underneath in order to set up the planter. And before we do that, I think we may as well go ahead and pipe this energy conduit over there. 
Should turn into a bat, though, just to make it easier on ourselves. Okay. So right here? Yep. Boom. Yeah, like I said, I got this path all laid out before I started recording. Yeah, we should have enough. Oh boy. Okay, and then bring it down here so we don't interfere with the elevator. Boom. And we're actually going to split this off. So one, one part of this will go off and do the crops on that side, and the other part will do the crops on this side. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, we still got a stack left. That is awesome. Um, and then we're just going to bring this straight on over. Okay. Good, good, good. Um, so, you know, someday I'll be powering this. And let's bring it... Oops. Here we are. Man, that takes a lot of them. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to be making a ton of these in order to get everything to all the different wings. But uh, now the planter... Boop. And that is getting power. Wonderful. Um, so you can set it so that like you can plant different crops in different directions. Because you can upgrade the radius so it would cover like a nine crop. Like an, it would cover... 9x9 nine nine of 9x9s nine nines, um, for different crops. So you could essentially have each of these little squares as a 9x9, nine nine, if you think about it that way. So the only, you'd only be, like, you could do, a, like, I don't know, strawberries here, wheat here, potatoes, all that, all that crap. Like, you could have nine farm plots all set up next to each other, and this one planter could handle it. Um... But I didn't set up my farm that way, and I'm not going to totally redo my farm. Um, and this, like, we have so much crap that crafting these and powering a bunch of separate planters is not going to be an issue. Um, so if we just do this, um, throw a couple carrots in there, and then the harvester should be right here. And it is. Wonderful. So boom, boom. There we go. And it's already breaking stuff. So let's set that up so it'll plant. And it already planted something, which is awesome. Um, let's get up there. Is there an easy way for us to... Yeah, let's just punch in through here. I'll have to create like a... A... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? A maintenance hatch or something somewhere. Um, so this... Let's set up the chest right next to it. So it'll drop all of the items. There we go. Look at it run. Boom, man. Boom, 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 boom. And let's go put all of these in the planter. Okay. Um, so the only thing I'll really have to do is refill this from time to time. Um, I think at some point I'll probably just slap a hopper on here for extra storage. Um, so I can put even more carrots. So it'll have to like, take even longer between replanting intervals. Um, so this is going to go like really fast because you, know, you can... See, like, a couple of these are already in their second stage of growth. Um, 
And I just need to get some bone meal, and that'll help it go even faster. Oh. Yeah? Okay. Oh, what do you know? It's been doing this lately. Not sure what the issue is. It's been really moody. Lately. Yeah, it happened. I tried to right-click the open blocks sprinkler, and it crashed it. Fun stuff. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Yikes. I think this place is just so intense, the server can't handle it. I'd like to think that's what it is. Um... Yeah, don't need that on there. Um, let's cover this up. Maybe. Yeah, connection's getting real bad real quick. Um, okay. So, bone. Oop. Just give me a stack of bones. Yeah, I have three carrots. Okay. So this will give me three. So actually give me two more stacks of bones. Okay. Awesome. And this will this will keep the sprinkler bone mealed for a really long time. Oops. Okay. Boom. Uh, so that stuff's gonna grow crazy fast. Um, so, how about we give it a little bit so I can, um, so we can let this grow, let it keep chopping stuff down, and so I can get that planter in the bottom filled up. So I will be right back. All right, everybody. So as you can see, we haven't used a ton of the power. Uh, when I got back up here, um, uh, it was down just a little below uh, 24 million. It was like 23 million 900 thousand, something like that. So it used a, it uses a little bit of power, but um, I just chopped down some pumpkins and got some biofuel stuff. So that's filling it back up pretty pretty well. But um, I mean, the amount of energy it takes to plant and harvest is negligible compared to the amount of energy you get from the crop itself. Um, so I've been letting this go for a little while. We've got a few stacks of carrots built up. Oh, shit. Um, a few stacks of carrots built up uh, in, the, in the planter. And um, so we can go ahead and grab these. And uh, put them along with our pumpkin seeds into the bioreactor, which will pump it into the biogenerator, which will pump RF into our resident, r resident, resonant energy cell. Um, yeah, that's, I mean, that's basically the setup. Uh, so I've got it pumped here and over to the farm already. Um, I need to start pumping it over here into the genetics wing um, so that I can power both our advanced genetics uh, crap and our um, our uh, mob farm here. Um, but yeah, that, uh, that does it for today's episode. Um, I am going to go ahead and install some sort of a service hatch. Um, in the farm so we can get down below really easily, but uh, that'll that'll do it So thank you all for watching. Hopefully that was instructive enough for you um, So you kind of know what's going on with the planter and the harvester um, You know they need power make sure they're faced the right way um, And you can use those upgrades to upgrade the radius um, Oh, yeah, the harvester also produces the sludge um, So I'm not sure what I want to do with all of the sludge it'll make yet uh, I think I might not do anything with it. You can put it into a sludge boiler. 
Is that correct? Yes, a sludge boiler, and it will give you, like, dirt, sand, nether, like, soul sand, netherrack crap, and, and it'll give you all sorts of stuff. But uh, I don't think we're going to have any, any use for any of that crap. Um, so I might just not do anything with it, or I'll put it in some open blocks tanks and use it for walls and decoration and stuff like that around town. Um, speaking of town, um, there's a really exciting project that I've been working on that will probably be the next episode, maybe, possibly, not sure yet. Um, I just need to finish it up. It's a cool... Cause I don't spend enough time building in this game. I really don't. Oh, I need to put this back. Um, uh, and this project has um, been entirely about the building, which has been a real great experience for me going back, going back to that. Um, but again, thank you all for watching, and I will catch you next time on whatever video it is that I upload next. Bada boom, bada bang.